I was beginning to wonder if that bot really knew the best way off campus. But with no one back at Control to talk to, our only choice was to follow him. Not your only choice, Cadet. You could have come home. If you say so, sir. When our rifles all ran dry, we switched to snub pistols. We hear you, little guy. Hunker down and shields up. Kilo, protect the bot! Somebody help that bot! Courtyard on the way in. We're almost out of here. Tripwire crossbow. Never seen one of these. Does this look kind of like a toy? That's the raven we saw earlier, isn't it? Yeah. Let's scavenge whatever equipment we can. That's all we can do now. Couldn't understand it. Did you get any of that? <laughs> Loud and clear. Guns up! There's some gear near the wreckage, at least.
want some? There's got to be more coming, Kilo. Stay sharp and set up.
Look what I found. Clear. After you, little, uh, flying guy. Someone's gotta name this thing. And that was it. The grubs left us alone for a little while. It was hard leaving the Academy. Someone has to go back there and bury those people. Are you here as Major Paddock of the UIR, or Private Paddock of the COG? Whichever one you like less. The Open Arms program may have given you our uniform, but you and I remain enemies. Fine. Let's settle this like enemies, then. Hey, hey, hey! That's enough! Stand down. You Garaznis weren't known for treating prisoners very well. I'm sure you know nothing about it. Oh, I wouldn't say that. You don't seem like a man who takes orders. Why even follow Baird? You might say I had an ulterior motive. I'd seen pictures of the mansions of Halvo Bay, and wondered if they were real. Maybe it was all just propaganda to intimidate the UIR. It wasn't. But the Grubs had been here and turned all those mansions into fixer-uppers. The Grubs tore this neighborhood apart. Your professor lives up here? Are we sure he's still alive? No, we are not. 